Okay, this is uh, WAP Chapter 7, Lecture Part 2. We're here, we're going to focus with the Imperial Society and Economy of the Persians. Um, understand that during the Classical Era, uh, public life and social structure becomes much more complicated than it was uh, in the complex social uh, systems that we've been talking about up to this point. Now, the centralized powers needed huge numbers of administrators to make everything work. This led to the emergence of an educated class of bureaucrats who were really going to kind of climb the social ladder and become very important. Now, it also increased wealth by people who specialized in certain areas uh, led to class tensions. You have people making money, and you have people above them making a little more money. And, and whereas before in society, you had a few ultra-rich, but hey, you know, they were who they were, uh, and most everyone else was on equal playing field. Now you're having classes, many more different classes of uh, economical status, if you will. Now, the early academic social structure, basically warriors, priests, and peasants, uh, but as these empires grow larger, of course, that's going to become uh, much more complicated. Uh, male warriors tended to head the clans, which was the basic family unit of Persian society. Uh, again, all of this changed, however, uh, with the emergence of the educated bureaucrats who are indirectly going to kind of replace the warriors as far as the level of social importance. Um, most people in Persian society were free. Uh, however, they don't have the privileges of clan leaders, but uh, most people walking around Persian society are free. Uh, they had plenty of priests and priestesses. Uh, they had servants. There were uh, free peasants who owned land. There were free peasants who didn't own land. And, of course, there were slaves. Uh, typically, how you became a slave, you were a prisoner of war, uh, you were a rebel against the Persian government, or you owed money and you chose to enter slavery on your own. Those were really the three methods of slavery adopted by the Persian society. Now, moving into economy, uh, agriculture was the economical foundation of the Persian Empire, which is, was going to be true for all the classical empires. You have to have that huge agricultural surplus uh, really to be able to be uh, a good empire. Barley and wheat were the most common grains that they harvested. Uh, beer and wine were the most common beverages uh, drank in the empire. Uh, their fantastic administration and, and wonderful roads helped facilitate trade. It made trade much more easy, easy and uh, lucrative, if you will. Uh, trade also benefited by the standardization of coins and long-distance trade. They had it all the way from India to, uh, to Egypt, again, facilitated by these roads and the safety uh, of being able to travel on these roads without being um, destroyed by bandits. But that is your second section.